Good morning South Africa. We've got the latest news stories and headlines in South Africa on Saturday, January 8, 2022. Now let's take a good look at the top five stories that have made headlines for today. Weekend weather for South Africa, highs of 42 centigrade and widespread thunderstorms. We've got a chaotic weekend weather forecast for the next two days and the latest data is showing us there will be extreme heat and excessive rain to contend with. Here's a comprehensive summary of what's in store for us between now and Monday morning. Cape Town is set for an absolute scorcher on Saturday, with temperatures pushing the 40 centigrade mark on the outskirts of the municipality. Coastal regions and suburbs closer to the city centre can expect the mercury to reach between 30 centigrade to 35 centigrade. Sunday afternoon will bring rain and thunder. Gauteng is on course for a wet and bleak weekend, with the heaviest of the rainfall occurring on Saturday afternoon. Intermittent showers will then persist throughout Sunday, with temperatures hovering around the mid-twenties for the next 48 hours or so. Durban will be battered by rain for most of the weekend and into next week. Several storms are forecast for KZN and its biggest city, and those hoping for a pleasant day at the beach will have to make some alternative arrangements. Good news roundup for stories that made US smile this week. Final push for three-year-old's life-saving surgery fundraiser. A fundraiser for a young girl with a complex congenital heart defect is now entering its final straight. The campaign to raise 5 million rand for Kylie Keister's life-saving surgery has been going strong for the past month, and with a deadline of March 2022 looming, it looks like the tenacious tot has a fighting chance. Kylie and her parents were told that there was nothing more doctors could do for the three-year-old last November, when further complications arose from the gaping hole in her heart. However, a desperate appeal to the Boston Children's Hospital in the USA offered the family some hope. Weird taste in the water. Don't panic, Cape Town residents told. The city of Cape Town has moved to reassure its residents about its drinking water supply after swathes of complainants raised an issue with it funny taste coming from their taps. But, according to officials, there's nothing to worry about. Those who have noticed the strange flavors coming from their taps have reported an earthy, beetroot-like taste from their running water. Those with more sensitive palates have described it as an overwhelming sensation, and they're definitely onto something. That's because they eye something in the water. According to the city, small amounts of geosmin, a naturally occurring organic compound, have found their way into the water supply. It also has the same scent as when rain falls on dry ground. Department of Justice building targeted on Friday. Another incident at a national key point has taken place on Friday after a small fire was reported at the Department of Justice in Cape Town. The blaze didn't take much containing, but it certainly adds to a list of suspicious activity around government buildings. The week started with the alleged arson attack on a now gutted parliament building in the mother city. A man wielding a hammer then smashed windows at the Constitutional Court. Meanwhile, Explosive devices had been detected at both Bloemfontein Airport and a waste disposal site in Hout Bay. Earlier on Friday, Sergeant Wesley Twig was able to confirm that SAPs have launched an investigation into the incident. Four killed after gunmen shooting at cars in Kebera. Four people have been killed in Zwaid after unknown gunmen sprayed a hail of bullets at two cars on Thursday. According to the South African Police Service, SAPS, report, local officers from Kwasakil Station were called to the scene at around 11 o'clock. Two cars were found stationed in Zwaid's Johnson Street. Both the Blue Suzuki and Yellow Opal Cadet were riddled with bullet holes. One of the deceased from the shooting in Kebera is believed to be the driver of the Opal, while the three other bodies were found grounded on the street near the cars, said SAPS spokesperson Brigadier Tembinkasi Kinena. This is Leah for the South African.